we need to get the concrete out of the ground and for a long time we struggled with a good way to do that but we've come up with a solution man i'm pumped up we've got another secret to show you today maybe you've already thought of this maybe you haven't but one of the things we fight a lot is trying to figure out how we're going to get concrete slugs out of the ground when the post may be rotted off or um, the, we're dealing with wood posts that just aren't strong enough to get uh, for all that force that we're trying to use to get this out of the ground. Um, this is a really heavy clay soil here that we've got and we need to pull these wood posts out and they're just snapping off if we wrap a chain around them. So we've got to still get this concrete out of the ground. No, we don't like to leave that scrap behind for the customer to deal with later on if they ever decide they want to do something. So we need to get the concrete out of the ground and for a long time we struggled with a good way to do that but we've come up with a solution not we not we Almanzo has come up with a solution and damon and this is why you hire stallions in your company is because they are problem solvers they don't have the idea that we don't get paid to think they're always thinking so i love it when when the team comes up with some great ideas so they took a base plate a heavy base plate cut it in half this is just a six by six half inch base plate and they cut it in half and welded a d-ring on it like you would have on a trailer and then we'll uh use these screw and anchors that are totally reusable to pull the slug out of the ground and they'll show you how to do that and this concrete is in there probably 32 inches three feet And that's an eight inch bolt. If I was doing this, uh, they just grabbed some that we had off the shelf at the shop. But if I was doing this, I would use a six inch bolt. Uh, there's no need to have quite that much in the concrete. So the other reason that we end up having to pull these slugs out is there is a vinyl fence going right back in the same exact spot so we can't have those that concrete in there conflicting with our new posts so we've got to get it out and we run into that a lot um, all of these every single one of these on this fence all the way around this yard had concrete on them and we had to get it all out of there because we run the risk of needing to put a hole right where there's a concrete slug so pulling the concrete out is a lot of times what we have to do we can't just abandon it underground but this is a quick easy way to get your concrete slugs out of the ground if you have vinyl posts or weak posts um, that you can't get out. Now I know there's other tools on the market that will go down inside of the vinyl posts and the reason that we can't use those is because we stab our vinyl posts into the concrete so we'll fill the hole completely full of concrete and then stab the vinyl into it so there's concrete all the way up inside the post as well as around it so we can't slide anything down on the inside of the post to get those slugs out on vinyl so we end up having to use this method on just about everything we do with the exception of chain link fence posts which are strong enough to allow us to pull the concrete out so that's a quick easy way to get that done so if you're struggling with getting the concrete out at your house give that method a try those are three quarter inch by eight inch bolts i would recommend a three quarter inch by six inch bolt you can weld a quick d-ring up to a plate and quickly and easily get the concrete out so until next time hope that works for you you have a good dang day